I'm going to uh, make the armatures for the horses. I'm not going to actually show me doing it. Um, I've got two instructional videos on how to uh, create a horse and I start out by making the armature for the horse. So those of you who uh, have my instructional videos on those uh, that subject, uh, well, just follow the instructions on the DVD or the video and uh, you'll know exactly how what to do. Doesn't matter the size of the uh, horse, just uh, matters the uh, process. Everybody has their own way of doing horses and uh, Mine comes from about uh, 50 some odd years of sculpting, so I've worked out a lot of kinks. Uh, you can get my videos and my DVDs through a link in the uh, video description below. Alright, I'll be back. Well, I'm just... I'm doing, I think I'm going to do seven horses, so I've got uh, seven wires to uh, straighten out. I'm going to work on this tonight. I've got, uh, well, I got one made. All right, I got uh, five made wires, straightened it is, and I'm straightening the sixth one now. Again, this is a baling wire. I don't know what the gauge is on it. But I've used it for years, ever since the 60s when I first started sculpting. And uh, it's really handy wire to have in your studio if you're a sculptor because if you need a thin wire that's easily manipulated, this is the best one I've found. And it hold, it's, just, it's got enough strength to hold itself under the weight of clay or wax. Alright everybody, I'm going to work on these tonight and come back the next time with wax being applied to them. Good night everybody. Ooh, that's all seven. Wow. Alright. Now to go wash my hands. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.